Hey guys, Day Walker here. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It's free. You know, it don't cost nothing. You know what I'm saying? You can get you some of this good commentary, man. Uh, what I want to talk about is why the WNBA is failing. You know, the WNBA failing to me. A lot of the, a lot of the women there kind of want to blame it on the men that's not supporting the league you know but to be honest I think the problem started where it began exactly where the WNBA began in the beginning you know um, when we go back and we look at the NBA the NBA was struggling. It was it was struggling for years, you know, and it was damn near about to really go under. To be honest, you know that's that's why they wanted to do the merger, you know. Um, uh, Bird and Magic rivals kept the NBA alive. They're very important. And then Michael Jordan took it to new heights. But it wasn't to David Stern got with Michael Jordan and was like, this is what we about to do. And, you know, and now you see the NBA is a strong powerhouse now. Can't be stopped. The thing is, when something is being laid out for you to follow, and you choose to take a different path, where well, the employees have to look at, okay, well, where does this blame come from? It's not the guys. The guys showed you. This is exactly how you do it. But you didn't follow it. So you guys play basketball, so it's not your fault. So who, who is the leader? It starts with the commissioner. Val Ackerman. I don't know if she was like, okay, I want to take a different approach. You know, I don't want to follow that. But you follow what works. Listen. This is how it's supposed to be. You got shiny pieces. But you always got to have that one above all. You got to have that one leader. And I'm not talking about the, in the NBA as a business, yes, but also your product. Your product is the talented players. So what David Stern did was, okay, Jordan, you're the one above all. That's it. That's that's you. Barkley, you're a shiny piece. Uh, Jalen Rose, you're a shiny piece. Isaiah Thomas, you're a shiny piece. Kobe, you're a shiny piece. Like, everybody are shiny pieces that help with this business. But we have the one above all. Now, here's the thing. This is where... <laughs> I, I really believe that it's her doing. It's Val Ackerman's fault because you had that. You had that and you chose to take a different route. Give an example. You had your Shaquille O'Neal and Lisa Leslie. The first woman to ever do it. To ever dunk in the NBA. Lisa Leslie. So you had your Shaq. You had your Patrick Ewing and Rebecca Lobo. Very talented player, good footwork. You know what I'm saying? Knows where the glass is at. She knew how to handle her opponents. You had your Scottie Pippen and Cheryl Swoops. A good all-around player that knew how to get boards, play very good defense, assist with it. You had that. And you had your one above all. The four time in a row champ. The first regular season MVP. The four time finals MVP. Three time scoring champion. I believe that is in a row. I could be wrong, but I believe that's in a row. And Cynthia Cooper. 
and you did not promote it exactly how the NBA did. That's your fault. That's Val's fault. But instead of the women going to say, okay, this this was not handled right by the people that's internal, not the people outside, because it's what you do internal. It's what you market. You you have the product. You have the talented players, and you and y'all sitting up there blaming the outside. No, it starts with the inside. The inside is supposed to draw the outside. She didn't do it. She didn't do it at all. And it it was set up perfectly for her to do it, but she didn't do it. I don't know if that you want to look at players all equally. And be like, okay, well, I believe the product may sell itself. If you don't promote the product, it's not going to sell. I'm sorry. There was one player that, it, listen, for the sake of the business, you have to have one player. The NFL taught you that as well. Come on now. Why do y'all think that the NFL and NBA gets more airtime than any other sport? Come on, man. It, it's 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 her fault. Like I said, it's her fault. And I feel like you just gotta you just gotta scrap it. Now you gotta start evaluating your product. You gotta look at your most talented player, and then you gotta put it, put them, you gotta tell them, hey, look, we finna put the WNBA on your back. Okay, cool. That's where it failed, though, from the beginning. In 1996, you didn't have the correct plan for the WNBA. You didn't. I'm sorry, but you didn't. But that's what I want the WNBA players to look at, though. Hell, even the NBA even helps play for you guys being in the red. They help pay that. So they contributing. It starts from the inside. Then you have this, I am much more than a dunk. But I'm like, come on, man. These guys, these guys' ability didn't just happen overnight. They was in the gym working hard. Working hard. I'm sorry, listen. If we got guys out here that's 5'7", I'm going to just say this, from 5'7 to 5'10, that can dunk. WNBA had females that's over six foot. If you're not dunking, that is your problem. That is your problem. I'm sorry. There is no way you are six plus and cannot dunk. I, I'm, I don't understand that. You are a professional. If you're not a professional, then there's no need for me to even make this statement. But you are a professional WNBA player. And you're over six foot. There is no reason why you shouldn't be dunking. There's no reason why you shouldn't be in the gym pushing your legs, building that muscle. How much muscle you think a man has to build being 5'7 and dunk? Spud Webb was 5'7 and dunk. And there's other 5'7 players out here that can dunk. There's other 5'8s and 5'9s and 5'10s that can go out there and dunk. How much work do you think that they put on that? And they're under six foot. You have WNBA players that's over six foot that cannot dunk. You can't just have something handed to you. 
Y'all want to compete with the men? Y'all got to bust y'all ass like the men. But like I said, though, y'all do have talented players. Y'all do got some, some great shooters, some great ball handlers. You guys just got to be promoted right. You supposed to have more women growing up wanting to be like you when they're playing sports than to be like LeBron, than to be like Kobe, than to be like Curry. That means there's a disconnect. Why? Is because they are they. That's all they see. Because you guys were never promoted right from the beginning. That's what you got to look at. Y'all don't have no goat. I didn't went. To, I didn't went to so many websites. Y'all got different goats. Go to the NBA. Who's the goat? We are gonna talk about him on my next video. But in the NBA, I want y'all. Leave it in the comments and let me know what's going on, man. Let me who is the NBA's GOAT? Nobody's talking about you. You guys don't even know who's the GOAT. Come on, man. Anyway, that, that's all I got to say about that. Please, like I said, man, like the video, subscribe, man, leave some comments. It, it, tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm out, man.